in the last video the editor has done some mistakes to underline the answer, correct answer so please listen the voice and according to that you understand the right answer today i'm going to do some short answer question in that the first question is describe scalary form conjugation in spirogyra scalary form conjugation is a sexual way of reproduction in spirogyra that takes place in two different filaments of opposite stain one is of positive stain and another is of negative stain filament these two filament of opposite stains come together side by side surrounded by comma common sheet of mucilage two filaments form a small outgrowth or protuberlens in the opposite directions the protoplasmic mass of male cell and female cell shrink by changing it vacuole into the contractile vacuole and form a non motile male and female gamete gametingium contact wall of the protuberlens dissolves to form conjugate tube male gametingium transfer into the female gametingium in the amoeboid mat manner and due to the fusion of these two zygospores form thick which is thick wall diploid structure form after the fusion of the male gametingium and the female gametingium in this way the zygospore is formed so this is the scalary form conjugation in aspirogyra Here is the diagram of scalary form conjugation in Aspirogyra. The next question is describe the structure of Aspirogyra. Plant body consists of cylinder unbranched haploid multicellular silky thread called filament. Adult plant are always free floating due to presence of mucus or mucilage. Aspirogyra are silmy to touch cell wall rigid and permeable made up of cellulose in inner and pectose in outer common wall between two adjacent cells is called septum cross wall or end wall protoplasm differentiated into cytoplasm central vacuole and nucleus cytoplasm contains ribosomes mitochondria chloroplast golgi bodies central region of cytoplasm occupied by central vacuole the vacuole contain a fluid called cell sap cell sap contains inorganic and inorganic substances cells of aspirogyra are uninucleated large aspherical lies inside the central vacuoles this is the diagram of a structure of aspirogyra now the next question is economic importance of algae as the source of food algae is also used as the source of food a number agar obtained from the gilidium uh, garisilaria etc used to used in the preparation of the jellies puddings cream cheese etc kara zenin in that is obtained from the condrus and the zigartina that is used emulification of chocolate ice cream paints etc funori from the golpitas used as adhesive and sizing textiles paper etc alginic acid from the laminaris fucus sargassum etc that is used as the emulification of chocolate ice cream paints etc source of iodine that is the fucus laminaris etc source of potash is micros 
cystic and neurocystic and the source of bromine is rhodomyla give any two characteristic of red and brown algae also mention their differences so first we will write the two characteristic of red and brown algae for the red algae the habitat is majority in the marine water and some in the fresh water and the plant body of the red algae is thallite that means it cannot be differentiated into root stem and leaves the second one is brown algae the habitat of brown algae is marine water and the plant body of the brown algae is thallite but it is differentiated into blade steep and whorled flask so this is two characteristic about red and brown algae now we have to also mention their difference red algae and brown algae red reserve food is either fluoro dn starch or fluoro fluorodo side and brown algae reserve food is either lame nerian that is the carbohydrate and methanol that is the alcoholic sugar red algae color is due to the presence of phyco bilins are phyco erythrin and phyco erythrin and are phyco shinin brown algae color is due to the presence of the pigment phyco xanthin that is c40 h56 and o6 so this is the answer of this question so today this much in next video we will discuss some other questions till then bye bye